Cats and TV. Hey everybody, Cats and TV, and today we are looking at the Three Trends RGB Plus One, an analog video synthesizer designed by Heiss. But first, please do subscribe to this channel for new synthesizer content coming out regularly, and please do consider supporting us via Patreon or Ko-Fi. Links in the description below. The video synthesizer has red, green, and blue oscillators. Each one has controls for volume, sync, pitch, and direction, as well as individual CV inputs. There are also two internal LFOs with multiple wave shapes that also can be used for modulation and a video input channel that has its own controls for brightness, inversion, and scroll. You can play the video synthesizer by manipulating the various controls for the red, green, and blue channels. Let's start by turning up the volume on the red channel. We can also turn up the green and the blue to get these interesting patterns and blendings of the colors. Changing the pitch changes the number and frequency of the bands. And we can use the direction buttons to change the bands from horizontal to vertical. The sync controls how each oscillator is synchronized to the video clock. It can be used to create distortion in a channel, shift the bands left and right or up and down, or change the overall shape. You can get a lot of interesting interplay between the sync and pitch controls. Okay, let's switch the green back to horizontal. Turn up its volume, get these nice little patterns going there. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. You get this sort of checkerboard. The type control allows you to toggle between different waveforms for the oscillator. Forward sawtooth, reverse sawtooth, and triangle. Even with just these simple controls, one can get quite a variety of colors and patterns. Okay, now let's turn down the red channel and the blue channel, leaving just the green on. And let's bring in the modulation matrix, which allows us to build up complex patches among the three oscillators, the two LFOs, as well as the input channel. Let's go get one of the supplied patch cords here, and we're going to route LFO1 into the sync control of the green oscillator. There, we can see it's kind of wiggling quite a bit. That's due to the LFO. Adjusting the frequency, range, and shape of the LFO allows us to change the behavior. Okay, let's take the LFO and instead route it to the output volume control of the green channel. If I adjust the LFO shape and frequency just like this, I can get some cool rectangular patterns. We can adjust the character and behavior of this rectangular pattern using the sync and pitch controls of the green channel. Let's dial in the various controls to get this nice sweeping pattern. All right, let's bring the blue channel back in. Adjust its pitch and sync. And let's bring the red channel in as well. We got a pretty cool pattern going there already, but we can do even more. We can use the output of one color channel to manipulate another. Here we've attached the red and blue channels to create this magenta pattern. We can change the color using the volume controls. Let's also take the green volume all the way down so we can better see it. Yeah, there was a nice purple, now it's a bit more magenta. And of course we can change the pitches as well. Let's bring the green channel back in, and let's detach that connection. Okay, let's turn down the red and green channels, leaving just the blue. We're now going to switch the blue channel from the oscillator to the video input. Here you can see a video of our cat Sam Sam is being routed to the blue channel. We can adjust its position using the scroll. We can also change the inversion to get a reverse Sam Sam. That's kind of cool. And we can route Sam Sam to the green channel, getting this sort of cyan color. 
If we route all three colors to the input, we get a black and white signal. Now blue and red to create a magenta Sam Sam. That's really cute. And mix in the pattern from the green oscillator. Okay, let's also switch the red back to oscillator mode. So the input video is now just on the blue channel, mixed with the red and green oscillators. Let's turn down the green. We can also use the video input as a control signal. Here we're going to route it to the negative or duck control of the red channel. The bright spots from the video are cut from the red channel, allowing us to see them in the blue channel. This is a pretty cool effect. Ah, this is so cute, and I could just keep watching this. But let's bring back the green channel now. Okay, let's do a little bit more patching on the matrix, including routing the LFO to the sink of the red channel. Okay, I think that actually needs to be on the upper row of the matrix, so let's route it to the green channel sink. All right, there we go. Okay, let's go and switch all three channels back to video input. And there's Sam Sam. We'll just have a bit of fun with the scroll control on the input. As you can see, there's a wide variety of visuals you can do with just the onboard controls. Let's now turn our attention to the control inputs for each of the RGB channels. There's also an audio out which we will show in a little bit. They can take in control voltage or audio signals and are compatible with Eurorack modules. We're going to take the audio output from oscillator B of the Buchla 158 red panel and attach it to the green oscillator. You can already see that it's having an effect on the pattern. Let's turn the other channels down and let's also adjust the sync a little bit. Okay, now we can see the distortion of the audio signal. Let's turn up the volume a little bit. Let's take off the LFO to make the audio signal's contribution much clearer. Okay, let's add the red channel back in. Notice it still has the video input on its negative or duck control. Let's use the blue oscillator to duck the green, which allows us to get these banded patterns that still have the audio manipulation on them. That's a really interesting and rich visual right there. We can change the details of the green bands using the pitch and shape of the input audio oscillator. <coughs> Let's bring the blue back in. Let's use oscillator A to modulate B on the Buchla 158 and create even more complex input patterns. Okay, I think we have a really cool audio video patch going, so let's just step back and play with it a little bit. Let's switch the audio from the green channel to the red channel. The 
3 trin RGB can also output audio using the audio output connector. Let's listen to a bit of that now. It really works best when we switch the video channels to horizontal. Now, of course, the audio input from the Buchla 158 will affect the audio output from the video synthesizer. We hope this has given you a taste for some of the creative possibilities with this little video synthesizer. To find out more about the 3 Trins RGB Plus 1C, please visit these websites and check out the description below this video. Thanks for watching. Check out more at www.catsynth.com and please subscribe to CatSynth TV.